coffee. So good morning to YouTubes. Uh, today, it's been a bit of a while since um, the last video. Um, it's, to be honest, been a bit of a week from hell at work. I haven't really been in the right kind of headspace or just frankly energy level to produce a film, edit, upload, do all the things that you need to do to make regular internet content. So apologies, um, back into it now. So today's is going to be the working from home part three. Um, part three, these ideas, I have to admit, these are not mine. These came from a good friend um, whose um, other half um, is also working from home and has slipped into a few bad habits that she's called him out on a number of times that I feel is probably worthy of being put into video format for how to work from home part three. Um, so a couple more tips. Um, I've got a couple more after this, so there is going to be a part four. And once I've completely run out of ideas and no other suggestions are left, then I will do a big supercut version um, where it is just all of them in one single video so you don't have to click through every single one just to find out how some idiot from Yorkshire thinks it's a good idea to uh, work from home. So, on to the video. Before we do get started, um, not had a video in a few days, so obviously not had this update either. Desk friend for today is the ghost from Destiny, your little floaty companion, um, formerly voiced by the great and good Peter Dinklage, and uh, now completely retconned out by a Nolan North instead. Um, this is the original Dinklebot that came with the legendary edition of Destiny 1. Um, so the voice files that are on it, feeling not very talkative today, are Peter Dinklage. This is Dinklebot. This no longer exists in the game. So this is actually a one of a kind now um, to be sitting on the desk today. Um, anyway, how to work from home, part three. Tip number five. Be careful with how you are at work and how you are at home, so be careful with your old ways, I guess you could call it, because, for a pure and simple reason, home you and work you are two very different people, completely different people. If, you were, if they were to meet, they probably wouldn't get on because of how different they are, because the you that goes to work is a different person than that sits at home watching Netflix all day on your day off, because you have a different attitude, you have a different mindset. Working from home, that line becomes really blurred and you have to make a distinction that when you are at work, you are in that mindset of being at work. You are the professional doing your job and then when you're not at work, when you're at home, you can then be the lazy layabout that you enjoy being that should not be at work because when the two get mixed up, that's when you start getting problems. Tip number six. Lunchtime is lunchtime, not nap time. There's a distinct difference in that when you go on your lunch break, when you have a break from work, it is not for having a nap. You go out, you maybe do some exercise, um, read a book, uh, watch a little bit of Netflix that's only as long as your lunch break, or, crazy idea here, have some lunch. Don't use it for having a nap. No, because that will throw your sleep cycle out. That will just throw everything completely out of whack. And then when it comes to actual nap time, actual going to bed and sleeping, when the night times happen, guess what? You won't be tired because you've had them. So that is tips number five and six for how to properly work from home. Um, stay tuned for the next version, which is going to be the day off edition for how to work from home, because even from when working from home, we still get days off. So that is coming next. A um, couple of tips there that I've discovered when you are on your day off, when you're working from home. There are 
things that you should do and should not do as well because they are just as important. Um, so keep tuned for that. Thank you all very much for watching. Um, hope you're all doing okay where you are and in the world and how crazy things are going. Bye.